What's up, YouTube? Que lo que? My name is Christian Ramos, and I'm the one, the only, the curl poppy. And today I have a special guest, which is V Styles, and she's gonna be giving us the 101 on hair trimming. Yes, sir. You are now watching The Curl Poppy. So if you guys have watched any of my other videos, you will know that I mentioned this chick all the time because she is a master colorist and she's dyed my hair so many times and it has made my hair look super poppin'. So Vicky, tell us a little bit about yourself. Woo! Um, in regards to what, like how long I've been doing Yeah, how long have you been doing hair? Well, um, I've been doing hair for uh, over 13 years. Wow, 13 years. It's yeah. a long so, time. I was raised in, in this, you know, my mother was a hairstylist, so... Um, so was mine. Yeah, so it was, I was in the hair salon every weekend. Okay. So it was like, um, so, and I guess that came natural to me. It pretty much came natural to me. My mother didn't want me to do this, I'll be honest with you. She was, she did not want me to do hair. <laughs> <laughs> but it just came naturally to me, man. I really loved it and I realized, you know, after a while it became a passion and I just kind of tuned in. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So what's one of your favorite things about doing hair? Because I know if you ever go on her Instagram, and I've shot it out so many times, you would see that her color work is crazy. <laughs> like, you, your hands are blessed. You you out here, on a, you on another level when it comes to coloring. Well, I stood um, consistent in what I did. I never gave up, I never switched up. Um, I always stood true to what I wanted to do and I always tried to educate myself more. So anytime a new trend comes out, I'm on it, I'm learning, I'm paying for classes online, whatever I gotta do to, you know, stay consistent. Okay. Um, but yeah. Alrighty. Alright, so now I'm gonna ask Vicky a few questions about hair trimming, but then later on in the video you're gonna see that she's actually gonna trim my own hair. Because it has been a very long time since I've done a trim, a professional trim, because over the quarantine, I actually took measures into my own hand and I snip, snip away and- Like so many other of my yeah. clients. <laughs> we're living in interesting times, you know, <laughs> where in New York, we're from New York, so in New York, beauty salons and barbershops were closed from March up until like June. So a lot yeah, of people had a lot of people had to do their own thing. They into their inner, the Barber interview. or beautician <laughs> skills because I'm telling you what I've seen. My hair right now is uneven. Open. Oh my god. My hair is god. uneven. So this is gonna be my first professional haircut from Vicky, and she's actually the last person that professionally cut my hair. Um so first and foremost, how often should people be trimming their hair? Um my rule, I always say every year. Eight weeks. Every eight weeks. So okay. Every two months. People are like, what? Every eight weeks? Every two months? Um, I have so many clients, for the love of God. Like, I really have so many clients that come to me. Um, long hair. I want to trim, but I don't want to cut too much, right? Mm -hmm. Then I look at the hair and I'm like, oh my God. Like, you need to cut like four inches off. Yeah. So, um, what I try to do is, in those cases where I have girls that they don't want to cut a lot, I'll trim what's necessary without taking off too much length. Okay. Always throw in a good treatment. Um, I always recommend the Botox, you know, I stress that. Like, yeah, you've been trying to get me to do the Botox for a while they too. They hair Botox is, that's, that's another, we're gonna leave that for another episode. But <laughs> literally, that is the best treatment that has come into the hair game, man. Okay. Seriously, so with that and trimming, that's the secret, honestly. Okay. And how you sleep too. And how you sleep too. People think, and I'm well, like, oh, how you sleep. For people with, with curly hair, I always say that you should be sleeping at least with like, like a silk a bonnet. bonnet. Or, or even like a, a silk, silk pillowcase, pillowcase yeah. yeah. So, just know that's She's cool, yeah, she put y'all on. <laughs> All right, so Vicky, um, I know you touched a little about this. Is there a specific length that people should be cutting? No. As long as you maintain, because uh, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of people that they are fearful because they want to retain length, mm -hmm. but they don't realize that their hair is damaged. Because 
Do you feel like it's important to cut off all of the damage or is it something that eventually working with a professional you can get rid of that damage over time? Yeah, working with a professional, honestly. Or, um, I'm not, I hate saying this, but you know, do your research when you're on YouTube. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna follow a hair guru, make sure you're following someone that really knows what they're doing yeah. because there's so many like literally i have my selective few right um i can't tell you off the top of my head because i got a little one <laughs> but um uh yeah that's 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 the key to me okay know? but i don't think there's no rule or like you know after a certain length you have to cut it unless you have thin and falling hair Attention for all my ladies who have thin, thin hair. If your hair is thinning from the scalp and the roof, forget about your hair being long. Us women, after a certain age, we don't grow hair the same way. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what you put in your body, realistically. Like if it's hereditary, there's really nothing that you can do about it. Yeah. What I do say is keep it short. The shorter you keep it when you have thin hair, the more voluminous it looks. You know what I'm saying? So I always, that's my go to. Okay, so. I know there are a couple of terms in the professional stylist room. So what's the biggest difference you think is between a trim and a dusting? And is there a difference? Yeah, there's a difference. Um, a trim is basically you're going all around, literally going into the hair and cutting off dead ends. That's what a trim is. You're okay. taking off length. You're taking length off. Now a dusting, can easily be um, where you're taking a um, <laughs> oh my god I'm like here trying to look for my correct terms <laughs> um, I was gonna say it in Spanish I'm like why are say you gonna Spanish. say that? I'm the curl poppy. Like, I was gonna say una tijera de entre so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so um, basically a dusting can literally consist of using a comb and you just kind of clip the ends that are sticking out, that's okay. like adjusting to it. Okay. And it does make a difference. Okay, so my next question is, is there a difference between cutting hair wet or dry? Because I've seen a lot of people that they're like, oh no, you should be cutting your hair when it's dry. Yeah. A lot of a lot of Dominican stylists or like Latino stylists, they always wash your hair first, then cut your hair. Do you see that there's like a big difference between cutting your hair wet and dry? My, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. Every hairstylist is different. Yeah. Literally, we all have a different technique of cutting. I got a lot of girls that will sit in my chair and um, it's the texture of the hair for me. Okay. For me, it's the texture of the hair. So if you have like hair like mine or um, you have straight dead hair and you're coming in for a style or whatever, I'm gonna cut it dry. Okay. Because I really want to see the detail in the cut versus wet because I can't really see detail okay. in the hair. Um, now, for my curly heads, I like to cut it wet. Okay. Versus a lot of these curly hair salons, they'll give you a curly cut and your hair is dry. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I when a lot of, I'm sorry not to cut you off, but I feel like when a lot of people cut their hair dry, you're not cutting it even. I, I, that curly cut yeah. that they're doing now, I don't like it. I mean, if I, I say it, I don't like it because, well, I say I don't like it for my clientele because I have a lot of curly heads that still come in and do rollers mm -hmm. and want the wash and set, you know? Um, and it doesn't look cute. It does yeah. not look good. So I, for my curly girls, I give them, literally, I like to call it the fire faucet. I give them the fire <laughs> faucet, seriously, because when they curl their hair, when their hair is curled, it looks so nice. Like mm -hmm. literally it falls the way that, you know, they want it, the French bang and all that stuff. But yeah, there is a big difference between cutting it wet. Okay. What do you, uh, do you have a preference? No, it depends. It really client. depends on the client. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so how can you tell, not, obviously you're, you're a professional, but how can someone that is not a professional tell if they have split ends? Oh, you're gonna have breakage. Literally, your ends are, they're just gonna like fall off. Okay. Um, your hair's gonna forever be tangled. It's gonna get tangled a lot of the ends. And when you wash your hair and let it air dry, if your tips is the first thing to dry up, they gotta go. Cause it's literally, it's like I tell people when your ends are dead, 
Can you revive a dead person after 30 minutes? Like, no, you can't. Like, no. they're fucking dead. Yeah. Let it go. Cut them off. Like, let Cut it go. Off. So, that's just real shit. Do, <laughs> do you feel like split ends contribute to a lot of hair breakage? Yeah. Okay. Look at it. Think of it like a rope. Think of it like a rope. Where something's hanging heavy on a rope. On a threaded rope. Put it like that. And if it starts breaking, what happens eventually? It keeps breaking, it keeps yeah. breaking until it completely, you know? Yeah. It, it, the whole thing will be fucked up. But, um, yeah. Would you say the best way to prevent split ends is to make sure you're, like, consistently getting a trim? Trim them every two damn week. Every, every, every two months. Every two <laughs> months. <laughs> every two months. Every two months. Every eight weeks, man. Just yeah. go in for a quick little trim. You don't even, you know, I tell all my girls this all the time because it's important. Okay. Let me go through my questions because I wasn't prepared. <laughs> I'm a little nervous and we're drinking a little bit. Uh, <laughs> okay. What do you feel about people that take matters into their own hand? Like someone like me that was cutting their own hair during the closure of businesses. Is there a technique or like, like, I don't know, like, is there a way that they should be cutting their hair or should they just wait until they are able to get Take with a your professional? Take to the salon, that's it. Just go, if you don't know what you're doing, yeah. leave it alone. That's okay. what I say. I mean, you can, because I've had a couple of girls come in here and they trim it up. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And I, I have a few know, friends that like gonna, do their own, they trim their own hair. Um, I don't know how good it is because they're obviously like curly girls. So I know when a, a lot of curly girls do like to transition to straight hair. Yeah. That's when you can really tell if they fucked up or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Okay. okay. One last question about like the 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 formality of this video. Um, you were one of the people that took a risk and opened up their business while we were in the middle of a pandemic and things were closing. Um, what do you feel attributed to you wanting to take that risk? And then also, how have things been going? Ooh, um, well, this, this happened during quarantine. Like yeah. this idea came about during quarantine. And, um, you know, my business partner, when he reached out to me, you know, and basically he was like, big, like, this is the idea I have, and I need you for it. You know, it took a long time for me to think about it yeah. because it was a lot, you know, in the mix besides COVID. But, um, what did I have to lose? Yeah. I don't have nothing to lose and this was something that all my clients were like dying for me to do you know I feel like everybody was just waiting yeah. waiting for it to happen I was one of them I was like I Vicky, closed my eyes and I said you know what going. just fucking do it yeah. just fuck everything like just F it and I put you know I got lucky I got a total business partner um, that's about his business you know he's as serious about this as I am, so mm -hmm. which is why it works. Um, and I gotta say, I've been blessed, man. Since this quarantine, I've really been blessed. I've received so much support, yeah, so much love. Um, I don't even want to get into it because I got emotional, <laughs> but um, no, but that's yeah, good though. It's, it's been good, it's been like good. the risk has paid off, yes, definitely. Like mm -hmm. the me double thinking it a lot, like. I don't even know why. I'm like, I should have just been like, yeah, after let's do it, you know? But, um, yes, the best thing that happened to me, honestly. Okay, um, okay. So, I know a lot of people that, you know, can't say the same. I know a lot of salons that are struggling. I know a lot of salons that are now closed, yeah. you know, three days. But look at my mom. Like, after 35 years, she had to close her spot. Crazy. And it, was, it had more to do with the landlord more than anything. Yeah. But, you know, thank God she was able to, like, find a spot that was right next to where she yeah, was I and you know was like so blessed with this because my business partner was already here yeah. for like over 10 15 years he was already working here so mm -hmm. to go from that to bump up now you know he runs this and he's like well, i need you like yeah we need to make this happen nice. and i was like fuck it you know 
But yeah, so far. <laughs> little by little, you know. Little by little. <laughs> well, now we are going to get into the portion of Vicky doing my hair. Uh, I'm also going to be asking her questions about her favorite products to use with her curly hair clients. Uh, so stay tuned. We're going to get right into that. Vicky, so I know you really like Riso's Curls products for curly people here. Mm -hmm. uh, besides them though, uh, what are some of your favorite products to use like shampoos and conditioners? Um, I really love uh, the Matrix Biolage line, okay. um, but I love the Raw line that they came out with. Um, let me see if I can grab a shampoo. So for example, this is, um, can you see, there we go. So the Matrix Biolage, shout out to them because they're freaking amazing. But you want to get the yellow one because it's for nourishing. This is more for thinning hair and for volume. You're welcome. Are those, you're, you're welcome. welcome. <laughs> are, th are those products that uh, anybody can get? Yeah, um, yes, in Ulta. They okay. actually offer them in Ulta. So, yeah. Are there any like professional salon brands that you would suggest to be here? Um, I mean, professional salon brands, people wouldn't be able to get them over the counter unless you have a friend that's like a hairstylist and can take you to Cosmo yeah. or, you know, Royal Beauty. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, a lot of stuff that I can get, like from Joyco, is hard to get unless, okay. like I said, you have someone that's like licensed and can take you. You know, for example, my best friend, her sister, she has my other Cosmo car, so she's going to the regular kit, all stuff. <laughs> Shout out to Cosmo. And I know you mentioned Jalco. Like, I remember the last time that you dyed my hair, mm -hmm. I used their blue shampoo. I love Joyco. I um, love, Joyco is literally my go-to, um, like one of my go-to products. It curls, I can't deal with like, it. <laughs> Seriously, like, just, look, look at this. <laughs> That's why I'm the curl poppy. Do you guys see this bounce? Like, do you get, like, Get into this, like seriously. Wow. When it comes to scissors, si I can't even say that. When it comes to <laughs> when it comes to scissors, are there specific scissors that people should be using? Um, cut in the it hair? depends how much you cut hair. Okay. So me, I just like a good pair of shears. Yeah, nice Japanese shear, sharp. You know, none of my scissors are cheap, so literally, like my scissors. This one I think for. Um, this was from Cricut, I think I paid. It was a set, so I think it was like a buck and change. Oof. Yeah. So. For a pair of shears, wow. Oh no, there are shears that cost more. Wow. <laughs> Literally. Christian. Oh my god. So, do you know how much you want to cut? So, if it were up to me, just the ends. That's, that's good, yeah. <laughs> Nothing, cause I wanna. I'm trying to like grow it out longer. Okay. Um, yeah, but you just need to clean. So I'm just gonna start where it's like. But I definitely choppy. would like it to be even. Okay. And I know that my hair is not the most even. Yeah, no. That's cause not like not. I. I'm like it's definitely not. Cause I took the scissors to my. I took the scissors to my own hands. You yeah. know. Um. But I definitely want to retain length. <laughs> Your curls are gonna really bounce up now because yeah, I, I, I'm telling you, I haven't had a professional trim in I want to say over a year, and you know, you telling me that people should be doing it every eight weeks, me pase. Oh no, I have people that are like, oh, I, haven't, I haven't cut my hair in a year. What? This is how? Would okay. you say that I have a lot of split ends or no? Um, dry, yeah, but I wouldn't say split. Okay. See? Dry. That's like literally because it's nothing breaking. Uh huh. Like I combed your hair, you didn't have not even a strand sticking out. Oh yeah, so super even. Yeah, I'm telling you. Because also, when I cut my own hair, my hair was already styled, like curly. Okay. 
And you know, like every curl is different. Yeah. Um, and every part of your hair has a different length. So I was literally just cutting the ends. Mm -hmm. uh, so I know for a fact that like my hair was needed uneven. Trim, yeah. yeah, I needed a trim. Do you find there's a difference between um, men's and women's hair? Like um, cutting men's and women's hair? Uh, mm, it depends. Or it just depends more on like the hair health. Yeah, like it, like for men, if like for my man bun males, um, yeah, you gotta treat your hair the same way women treat their hair. You gotta trim it. You gotta do the treatments. You know, women are not the only ones that are gonna do that. As a man, if you have your hair long, you gotta make it your business to treat it and take care of it. My brother, he went through that. My brother used to have his hair long. He felt like because he was a guy, I don't know what his, he thought his hair was any different from mine, that he didn't have to trim it. And um, I used Yeah, to, but your brother done a lot of crazy stuff with his yeah. hair. Yeah, and I would bleach it. You know I was always doing crazy colors on him. Mm -hmm. And I kept telling him, cut your hair, trim it, trim it, trim it, because if not, it's going, it's going to crack, it's going to break. It's not going to resist, you know, the color anymore. Yeah. And what happened was exactly what I said, he did it. You know? I feel like for men, they feel like it's too much maintenance mm -hmm. to do like the deep conditioners. Yeah, of course, but you know, it has to be done in order for you know your hair to look decent. Because you're a guy, doesn't mean you know you can't trim or do treatments. But now he knows that after he cut it, he had a lot of hair. Yeah. Before buying the Dyson, I was somebody that used to air dry a lot. Okay. Um, and I know that, it, and correct me if I'm wrong, but they say that it's bad to air dry because your hair swells and it said it's in its weakest state when it's wet. Um, do you recommend that people diffuse their hair over air drying? Um, you can, th this is how I do it. You can, I'll, I, what I usually do is I diffuse it first. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like to like diffuse it completely because I feel like it frizzes the hair, right? So okay. I do like to air dry the hair a little after. So okay. I'll diffuse it just to get the, you know, your ends in and then I like the roots to get air dried. Okay. I feel like it's less frizz like that. That makes any sense. Okay. To me, that's how I feel like I've, I've noticed that. You know, Thank you so much, Vicky, for giving us the 101s yes. of hair trimming your hair and actually trimming my hair. Yes. Uh, where can people reach you at? Um, you guys can reach me at Instagram at underscore v.styles. 
don't forget. And how, I know you use Booksy. Yes. How can they reach you on Booksy? Um, Vida Styles. Booksy app, you can um, download the Booksy app on iOS or Android. They have them on both, uh, for both phones. And you can look me up, Vida Styles, on the search button. Yes. Well, thank you so much, boo. Anytime I love you. <laughs> Curl about me, make sure you all subscribe. Link below. <laughs> all right, guys, so please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram, at the Curl Poppy. And until next time, guys, bye.